Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Face Off Friday. Today I picked out three blaster boxes to open up. We've got 2018 Tops Archives, we've got 2019 Bowen Platinum, and 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter. Usually what I do is I pick which box I think is going to be the best one, and today I think that 2018 Tops Archives is going to be our winner. So when I go through the packs, I take out the top five cards from each box, lay them out on the screen, and then we make a call by the end of the video, and you can see if you agree with me if I made the right pick. And let me also know in the comments which box you think was the winner in this particular matchup. So I'm going to call um, this one Allen & Ginter 2, and I'm going to go with Bowman Platinum, a surprising third. I think they're all pretty good boxes, but here we go. Let's start out with Bowman Platinum from 2019. Uh, you can pick this up sometimes, even still now, at your local Walmart. There's 32 total cards. I grabbed this one at my Walmart uh, last month, I think, and I think there's still a couple hanger packs on the rack there. So let's see what we can find here. The good rookie cards from 2019, Pete Alonso, Fernando Tatis Jr., Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Aloy Jimenez are all short-printed in this particular release, which is why I am putting it down at the bottom for this round. So 32 cards, there are our packs. You can see we get one platinum pack with four exclusive parallel cards, and then here are the base packs. So let's get to ripping. You can see that we got Vladdy Jr. and Shohei Otani on the front. Let's check out what we have, only four cards per pack. So we start out with Sheldon Noisy, as the first one there, Garrett Whitlock, Corey Kluber, now on the Rangers, and your MVP from last year, Cody Bellinger. And typically also what I do is I take out the cards I think might have the most value, and I make a maybe pile, and then I have to choose my top five from that maybe pile. So from that first pack, I'll go with the Prismatic Prodigy card. We got to Vladimir Guerrero Jr., very nice. The short print, and Pete Alonso in the same pack. So um, you can see... There's the back, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., very, very nice, um, and Pete Alonso as well. I guess they weren't short printed. I must have been totally wrong about that. How about that? Uh, Ramon Laureano is the next one with Josh Hader. Um, I'm going to have to go back and revisit my knowledge of Bowen Platinum for sure. Let's see what else we have. We have Nolan Gorman is a nice one as well. There's Jose Altuve, Tuki Tucson, and Ozzy Albies. Pretty happy with these packs so far for Bowman Platinum. What do we got next? We got Bobby Dalbeck. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Platinum Presence is a nice one. There's AJ Pollock. And there's Frankie Lindor, Mr. Smile himself. Next pack up, we have Owen White. So you can see there are some prospects in here. There's Juan Soto, Nomar Mazzara, and David Price. Only two packs left after this one. And one of them is that bonus pack. We've got a Blaze Alexander leading things off. Renowned rookies, Ramon Laureano, which is a nice one. Uh, Salvi Perez and Chance Adams rookie card. I'll put that Laureano in my maybe pile. There's another Laureano also that I might want to put in my maybe pile. Um, as I do think he is pretty darn good. I don't know why the other one didn't get a rookie card emblem, but that one did. But anyway, next pack up. You got Alex Carrillo from the Twins, a numbered Prismatic Prodigies, 26 of 250. There's Brian Anderson and Justice Sheffield, rookie card. And here is our blue uh, platinum exclusive parallel pack. Let's check out what we have in here. Um, we've got a nice Chris Sale, Austin Dean rookie card. There's Eli Morgan. And how about a Luis Robert? Very, very nice. One of the hottest players around. In terms of rookies this year, that's a good one. So um, I think I'm going to be way off. And it looks like Bowman Platinum might end up actually being our winner. So number one, I'm going to go with, um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go with Vladdy as my number one. And then I'm going to go with the Pete Alonso. Then I'm going to go with Luis Robert. And probably the Roberts should be moved up a good bit. But these are my top five that I'm going with if I had to pay Money and couldn't look it up, and they said that you don't have any cell service. Uh, which one are you going to buy first? If they're all the same price, I would probably go in that order. I'll go with the Grant Levine 
numbered prismatic prodigies out of 250 is my number four card and from a number five card i'm going to throw down with the vladimir guerrero jr in the five spot so pretty good by the way dan is uh the sponsor for this video and he will receive all of these cards dan thank you so much for your support on patreon and i appreciate all of your guys support that are signed up on patreon um get you access to our live breaks our next one will be sunday night and i'll be posting the links for that tomorrow on the patreon page link is in the description if you'd like to participate in that so next up let's do alan and get there from 2019 and check out what we can find it here hopefully looking forward to some other good rookies from this year and uh, trying to avoid some of the quote-unquote weirdo cards like waterfalls and um, horses and uh, all kinds of different stuff like mad scientists. You'll see. Well, I'm sure we'll probably find some of those cards. All right, first one up for Dan. Let's see what we can pull for you here. We got Jan Moncada as our first one. Roy Halladay, who is a Hall of Famer. There's a Carlos Correa. You got a Fergie Jenkins Mini, who's a Hall of Famer. And I would consider this a weirdo card. It's a Martinet or Martinet card. Um, I guess he is a Nintendo legend, according to the back of the card. Next up, let's go with pack number two from Allen and Ginter. We got a Yuli Gurriel leading things off, and then Ronald Acuna Jr. second year card. That's good enough to get in my maybe pile, even though it's a second year card, because we're going to have to be dealing with um, stuff like this. Next, we have Scooter Jeanette and Luis Urias rookie card in the final spot of pack number two. All right, next we got Bagpipes, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer leading things off, Bo Jackson. Number two, we got Rogers Hornsby is a nice one. Ryan O'Hearn, mini card rookie. Then, of course, we have William Tell's crossbow. That It just feels like a waste of a card for me. And then this guy, um, I would have to look at the back to tell you that uh, he's some sort of recording artist. Uh, because other than that, I have no idea who the heck that is. Next up, we've got a Juan Gone, Juan Gonzalez. Then we have Matt Carpenter. We've got a little mini of Cano. There's Framber Valdez. And then we're going to have to take a horse card. And Tino, Tino Martinez is the last one. There's no special parallel packs in Gypsy Cream Blaster Boxes. Usually this product comes out sometime around July or August every year. So in the summer. You can probably expect 2020 um, Allen and Ginter to come out. There's a Sterling Marte mini. My maybe pile is looking pretty light. I guess I'm going to have to throw the Ted Williams in there because I hardly have any cards. Allen and Ginter looks like it's well on its way to a last place finish in this face-off Friday. Max Muncy, Justin Bohr. We got a Pedro Martinez and Tyler O'Neill. And then, of course, there's for some reason a cable car card in there. Only two packs left. I think the uh, spread on Allen and Ginter is about 50-50. 50% of the people love it, 50% hate it, and um, there's not really much in the middle with this product. There's Hercules Club and Jim Catfish Hunter as our last one. Final pack for Allen and Ginter, and then I'm going to have to... We have a blue border in there, which is nice. So actually... May, oh, no, that's not nice. It's some random like plane or spaceship, Andrew Benintendi and Brad Keller. Well, Brad, I don't have four cards. In, I don't have five cards in my maybe pile. So that's how bad it was. Acuna is number one for me. Um, as you can see, I really don't have anything to work with here. I'm going to go with Marte, number two. I'll go with Brad Keller, number three. I'm going to have to go with uh, Fergie, four, and Ted Williams, five. Uh, so that bought was a complete dud so let's hope that dan can get some value out of this last box here it's a 2018 tops archives i picked this to be the winner because i am really high on all the rookie cards in this particular set you got jack flaherty austin meadows Shohei otani Raphael devers juan soto glaber torres you got walker bueller ron Acuna jr Reese Hoskins, there's a, a strong list of 10 great rookies that you can pull out of this. And there's also the Sandlot cards, which carry some nice value as well. So let's see what we can pull. And then, of course, there's going to be some annoying coins, which I'm just going to let Dan open those at his leisure when he gets his next month's package. 
All right, so here we go. Archives from 2018. Looking for Ronald Acuna Jr. That's number one. And Juan Soto is number two that we're after. You can see 1959-1977 designs. There's a 79 Aussie Tops and 1981 as well designs in this particular release. I'll put the Aussie Smith reprint in my maybe pile. Our next pack up. I'm pretty sure that Bowen Platinum is just going to kill this. Um, face off Friday. It's not even going to be close and I'm going to be way off. So no cards in that pack are going to make my maybe pile right now. All I have is a lone Aussie Smith rookie history card. there, probably worth maybe 50 cents or so. Our next pack, we have a rookie card of Clint Frazier. We've got a, I got excited for a second there because I do believe Ronald Acuna Jr. has a future star card. But that's a Victor Robles. He's the best of those three. Rugnet Odor and Hunter Renfro is the last one there. Only a few packs left. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this episode of Face Off Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We do Face Off Fridays every Friday. We do a video every single day. So I hope that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now let's see what we can find for our last Three packs. There's Bernie Williams, Warren Spawn. We got a rookie of Joey Lucchese there, who's a pretty decent young pitcher. Buster Posey and Matt Duffy. So, so far, I think I listed off for you about 10 good rookies before I opened the box, and I haven't found a single one with only two packs left to go. Edwin Encarnacion, there's Cole Hamels. It looks like we have something with a different border there. It's going to be a – it is a Scotty Smalls. It's the Sandlock card, 1962 Tops design. Scotty Smalls, very nice. There's the back of the card. He was the new kid in town, and Scotty took a chance to make friends by joining his local Sandlot team. You guys have all seen this movie. And actually, they have these cards signed by the actors and inserted in some of the hobby boxes – which are always great pulls. Found some of those. There's a nice Reggie Jackson crew and Willie Stargell. So three Hall of Fame Legends cards to finish off the pack. And this is the last one of the video for Face Off Friday. Let's see what we can find for Dan. And then I'm just going to call it for Bowman Platinum and apologize for being so, so wrong. We got Christian Yelich. There's an Adubal Herrera Walker Bueller rookie card. So that's a tick in the right direction. For Arcas from 2018, we got a nice Mike Trout base card, which I'm going to put that in my maybe pile, and Starling Castro. So here's my top five, in my opinion, that I pulled out of the final box. I'm going to go with, you know, it's really close for me between Bueller and Scotty Smalls. I think this card has some nice value, but Walker Bueller rookie card, I can't just let that pass without giving that the number one spot for the box. Number two, I'm going to have to go with the Scotty Smalls. Number three, I'm going to go with, heck, i got to go with Mike Trout, the best player in the game for sure. The fourth best car in the box, I'm going to go with, um, uh, I guess I'll go with Victor Robles because Clint Frazier's been hurt a lot. And uh, Joey Lucchese is going to sneak by Frazier. Um, if it was last year, Frazier probably would have been in the number three spot here for me. So... I'm going to go easily number one, and Bowman Platinum destroys it. Number two, uh, a distant number two, is the 2018 Archives. And last place by a mile is Allen and Ginter. You can let me know what you thought of the boxes, and you can rank them in your own personal order. One, two, three. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys hit that thumbs up button. I also hope you hit the subscribe button, and we will be live again Sunday evening. So if you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell next to it if you tap that. That's the notification bell. Whenever we go live, you'll get a little no notification on your phone or device that says Jab's family is now live, and you can check us out. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.